Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and it's hard to believe, but this is our 175th episode. So I reckon it's a good time to go check in on an old friend. Back in 2013, 174 episodes ago, we visited Newman's Castle in Belleville. Mike Newman built this big home, and he's added on to the place since we last saw him, so why not check it twice? The bustling streets of Belleville can be a little backed up during the morning rush hour, just like the bakery case at Newman's Bakery. Mike Newman owns the perfect pit stop for pastries that we first visited back in 2013. But we didn't come back just for breakfast, even though it's really good. We came to besiege his big old castle. It's been seven years since we were last here. Well, welcome again. It's good to be back. <laughs> I noticed I've seen you in my, my donut shop there on numerous occasions within these last seven years. So. <laughs> After being busted by the baker, it was time to switch the subject and talk about his sizable stronghold he built himself, hence the reason he's the king. I see you really taking the role on now. You've got long hair, you got the crown. Well, it, it goes with the deal, you know. Uh, I kind of like it and um, I'm having a good time with it still. I see that it brings a lot of joy to people. And yes, he's still making mead. You want some? Six days a week, Mike gives tours of his towering fortress hidden in the thicket of Austin County. We dub you to be called Sir Colden. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The groups have grown over the years, and Mike has even built onto his castle with a bell tower and some soon to be finished guest rooms. And those medieval toys that take this place over the top? Well, Mike still has those too. What is this thing and why do you have it? This is, <laughs> this is my medieval cannon. <laughs> A popular part of the tour, the trebuchet, still turns heads. This still fun for you? It is, it yep. is. Still having a good time. Especially if you see other people happy, it's easy for me to appreciate that. The positiveness that comes from it, from my point of view, has been like, wow, thank you, Lord. You know, it's just like a gift from above. Kids continue to charge the castle, fight fellow knights, and look for lurking dragons. But there was one thing Mike's castle was missing. I was always amazed at what a bachelor pad this was. Like, this <laughs> is yeah. the bachelor pad. Yeah, yeah. But come to find out, you met a oh, maiden. Oh, yes, yes. Miss Saya, yeah, she, or Lady Saya. She doesn't like the word Miss Saya too much. You know, <laughs> in case you mispronounce it, you know. <laughs> the made-up monarch finally met his match. You ever got to let him know, hey, you're really not a king. <laughs> what? He's not a king? <laughs> You're kidding! Sia Beaton is a singer who happened to be at the castle for a Celtic celebration when her friends suggested she make up a song dedicated to Mike's manor. Sure, I'll write a song for the castle, but the king has to listen to it if I do. Oh. <laughs> so. Mike decreed it. It makes me smile whenever she sings it. It's a cool song. You should get her to sing it for you. Or I could get her to sing it for you. The king has spoken. The king. Yeah. Well, she... <coughs> <coughs> Easy, Mike. We'll let Saya do the serenading. Make me smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always do. Howdy do to dairy ho. It's a great day to be at the castle ho. We'll all drink meat and be merry ho. Oh. Howdy do to dairy ho. Oh. It's off to Newman's castle. Howdy do. <laughs> where magic is in the air. Blue bonnets bloom, and we'll sing a bonny tune along the trail to Newman's Castle. Howdy do, howdy do to Dario. It's a great day to be at the castle. Oh, we'll all drink meat and be merry. Oh, howdy do to Dario at Newman's Castle. Howdy do. Texas Castle. It's a Texas Castle. That's right. <laughs> The perfect soundtrack for a castle in the middle of the country. You're living a fairy tale. That's right. Asaya is a great lady. I'm glad she's in my life. She's very special. While the king has grown a bit older over the years, Mike's still a big kid at heart. Bringing joy to others is what this big home has become. 
and now the king gets to reap the rewards. Finally being king paid off. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was funny, the first time we came out here, all we could think about is how awesome this bachelor pad is. I mean, you've changed that. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I don't <laughs> intend to change it. You just don't mess with perfection. I'm not the only castle in Texas. There are others, but I think mine is the coolest one, though. <laughs> Every time he does the tour, I watch it and get completely sucked in like it's the first time I ever saw it. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. I'm very happy to be from here, and uh, I'm, I'm very pleased and honored to have so many people come out here to my castle to see it. But then there's a great overflow of that because they get to spend a little time here in a small community here in Texas.